rugged, durable, powerful. Hey guys, this is Xavier with Gotta Be Mobile with another GBM Ink Show. As always, our ink shows are sponsored by Mobile Demand. They make some very nice, rugged tablet PCs. You can check them out at mobiledemand.com. Uh, as you'll see, we're not looking at a tablet PC today. Instead, we're looking at the new ThinkPad T400S with multi-touch. Now, you probably aren't used to seeing a touchscreen display on a notebook, but we're going to see more and more of these with the launch of Windows 7. Uh, I haven't really had time to play around with this too much. I did get to see a demo at a meeting with Lenovo a couple weeks ago, but I have not had a chance to play around with it by myself. Uh, so let's take a look at the system together and uh, let's get going. Uh, as you'll see, the, the T400S <clears throat> is a very thin and light system. Weighs under four pounds, but manages to have an optical drive and a lot of horsepower. It's going to be about the same performance as a normal T400, but it's much thinner, much easier to carry around, a lot more mobile. Um, but the big news today is that ThinkPad is offering this touchscreen option. It's a pretty expensive option at $400, so you're really going to know what you're going to be using this for before you buy it. And to be honest, right now, there's not a whole lot you can do with multi-touch. There's not a lot of support with applications. There's not a whole lot of applications that come on this uh, device that make it worth the $400. But nonetheless, it is kind of a cool thing to have. Uh, I can see it being very useful once publishers get rolling with touch specific applications or adding touch capabilities to existing applications that we all use and love. Uh, I'm going to show you an application called Simple Tap. This is the only application by Lenovo that comes preloaded on the T400S. Uh, so let me show you what this can do and we'll get, get into it. Uh, Simple Tap is available with that little red globe that you saw me tap here at the top of the screen. Uh, you just tap it once here or you can tap with two fingers and it pulls up this series of of uh, function atoms. And let me just show you what comes with it uh, built in. It comes with audio mute uh, volume control. So if I just tap here, we're muted. And as you'll see, the icon sort of flips over and it's red. If you want to unmute it, we just go ahead and tap there. Uh, microphone, that's to shut off your microphone if you're on a VoIP call or uh, you just want to cancel whatever is going on with your mic. If you want to black out your webcam, Go ahead and tap here. Nothing will, uh, you won't get embarrassed by your webcam accidentally turning on while you're on a Skype call or uh, a video chat of some kind. This one here will give you a preview of your webcam. This is great if you're about to get, get onto a call. You want to see what you look like, and we'll take a look at what I look like with this camera. Let's go ahead and tap here, and you'll see me. In my situation, you can tell that. I'm backlit, uh, which isn't a good way to be on a conference call or a, a Skype video call. So I would actually want to move, and that's exactly what that thing is for. Let's get out of here. Here we'll see a lock. I believe that's to uh, log out of the system. And if you want to log back in, we'll just go here and tap again on the globe. This is a sleep uh, symbol. I'm not going to put the system to sleep while I'm doing this demo though. Uh, here we can turn the wireless on and off with a tap. Here we go. And we have a, a brightness adjustment. So here we can adjust the screen brightness. And this here is for the, the little uh, night light at the top of the display. And uh, here you can see it. It's kind of too light to see on the keyboard, but it does. it is bright enough to illuminate the keyboard if you're on a dark plane. And that is SimpleTap. This is a standard configuration of what comes on SimpleTap. One thing that's kind of cool is that Lenovo gives you the ability to customize this SimpleTap. You can put bookmarks or you can put uh, links to websites in here, and you can rearrange these icons as you see fit. For example, if you want to put all your applications or links to, to your favorite websites in one area, you can do that. To do that, all you have to do is come up to the uh, simple tap preference menu here. Let's try doing, add in something here. And you can, we, looks like we can select a new tile to either launch an application or open a web page. Let's go ahead and ask it to open gotta be mobile.com. 
And as you can hear now, I'm typing on the keyboard. And we're gonna go ahead and ask this to not be black. Let's see what color options are available. We're gonna go with yellow so it stands out a bit. And what am I missing here? It looks like there's a preview. Oh, we've got to name it. Hmm. We're getting a web page icon. And now it looks like we're all set. We hit OK. And now we have a GBM logo uh, that'll launch with the default web browser, I assume. Go ahead and tap here. And our website should open shortly. And so, again, it's kind of odd to have this touch feature uh, enabled on, on a normal notebook. I'm sure it would take some getting used to. Um, some of the stuff may or may not be easier to do with touch, uh, but again, we're just going to here to sit here and play around with this a bit and see what happens. Um, once we're on a web browser like Internet Explorer, we can actually use our fingers to gesture and control it. So here, whoops, we didn't mean to do that. I was going to show how we could scroll, but obviously you can see how we can pinch and zoom and and swipe at the screen as well. So let's try this again. We can go ahead and try to scroll up and down, and the controls controls are a little tough. Oh, here we go. Single finger for scrolling. I was accidentally doing using two. That's pretty smooth. Uh, it doesn't stop right away. It has a little bit of velocity um, built in. So if you're used to using an iPhone or some other uh, touch-enabled devices, this feels pretty natural. If you want to zoom in on some text or photos, you can uh, go ahead and increase it like that. And that's pretty smooth. I mean, that just that feels pretty good. Um, but again, the the ThinkPad has a multi-touch trackpad, so this is something I'd probably do on a trackpad more often than not. Uh, the only time I could think of actually manipulating a web page like this is if maybe I have it in my lap uh, and it's really low. I'm a pretty big guy, so it's sometimes it might be e easier for me to reach onto the screen than down here, but again, it's not something that I would necessarily spend $400 on. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the applications that came on, on the uh, T400S. Now, I forgot to mention at the get-go of this, this is multi-touch. The panel is provided by Intrig, and it's not just two-point multi-touch, it's actually four-point multi-touch. So some of these games that came with, uh, that come with touch pack for Windows 7, for example, like if we take uh, any of these, really, you can see that we can actually do four points of, four points of uh, touch. So if you have a game like Rebound, you can get, you know, one person playing against the other, but it's pretty unnatural to play this game while you're here and, you know, with the screen almost vertical. Uh, the T400S does fold down quite a bit. Um, so you could potentially play a game like this with it laying down. But again, the, the, the $400 price point is probably not uh, going to be a good use if all you want to do is play uh, these silly games like Microsoft Rebound. But nonetheless, we'll go ahead and just take a quick look at what it looks like to play this application on the system. You can see my right hand is playing one side and my left hand is playing the other. Kind of tough to uh, so that's that. I mean, this is just a quick demonstration that I'm actually controlling four points on the screen with my fingers. The ThinkPad is rocking back and forth since the T400S is so light. Uh, there's not a lot holding it there, and as you can see, the screen starts moving back. So I don't think it's going to be realistic to have a. Uh, Two people playing a video game such as this at the same time, unless you fold the uh, system down like this and use it on a flat surface, it's still going to rock. Uh, this is a business machine, it's a work machine. Uh, if, if you've got $400 to spare 
on multi-touch. It's probably not going to be on a game like that. But so far, it seems that the T400S touchscreen is pretty responsive and nothing to complain about at all so far. Uh, Rob Bushway already showed you through most of the applications on touchback, so I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to demo each and every one. But let's try just one more program in here. That's Microsoft Research Auto Collage Touch. My fingers are pretty big, so I would guess that the uh, accuracy will vary with mileage depending on how big your fingers are. Uh, as you can see in the start menu, I have a little trouble hunting around four items in the, in the you know, small font size. But here we've got Microsoft Research Auto Collage, and here we can go ahead and take some photos, throw them around into the collage and see what comes up with and you know this is kind of cool to show at a trade show it's kind of cool to show as a parlor trick but again I'm just not sure that uh, 400 bucks will will be justified by making the few collages but let's go ahead and see what this auto collage comes up with and it comes up with this kind of cool looking uh, montage of uh, all these scenes of nature that are the sample photo packs that came on Windows 7. But again, not a whole lot of meat to this story in terms of being able to really do something. Uh, you're going to have to rely on software developers coming up with applications that are specific to multi-touch on Windows, I think, before, before this kind of thing will be really, really worth it. Um, there are a couple of apps that are that are built around multi-touch. Uh, this is one called Space Claim, and Lenovo's actually shown some pretty cool demos of how designers can use multi-touch. But if you're a professional designer, I'm not sure if you're gonna wanna have your touch interface be up on this screen like this. Uh, I did have a conversation with the founder of Flickster, and I put a video up about that about a week ago, and we were talking about how multi-touch is actually a lot more natural to use for transactional items, like buying a movie ticket. Uh, go ahead and take a look at that video, and if you have an iPhone, download Flickster, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, for If you're not going to be doing a whole lot of entry, at, it's actually pretty beneficial to use a touchscreen. If you want to think about places that you use touchscreen in everyday life, such as at an ATM, or when you buy tickets at a movie theater, here in San Francisco, most of the movie theaters have uh, touchscreen terminals where you can buy movies. Um, things like, for example, uh, YouTube, where you know you sort of touch once or tap once, and you sort of sit hey back guys, and relax. You know, this is my video today, um, but... That's where you get some value out of this, but not four hundred dollars worth of value. Uh, four, but again, four hundred bucks. It's not going to do it for me. But I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing the touchscreen. Uh, discounted or included in some SKUs from Lenovo, uh, but again, 400 bucks, just a tough, tough uh, pill to swallow. Uh, but we'll, I'm going to keep on playing with this. I'm going to report to you how it feels to use this on a more regular basis. Maybe I'll try working on this for a couple of days. Uh, but this is the T400S with multi-touch. This has been Xavier with Gotta Be Mobile. Please do visit our sponsor so we can keep on bringing you videos. That's mobiledemand.com. They make some excellent rugged tablets.